Huh? Oh my gosh! Saw a cloud of black smoke rising from a distant mountain top. of milk. The pony children received it and drank it deliciously. Oh. Okay. After drinking oh. all the milk, the pony baby still wanted to drink more so Wooly helped by expressing his milk. It seems Wooly has not very good intentions. Huh? The ponies were surprised when Wooly left. Oh no. What's going on with the pony kids? Oh! Huh? Wait a minute. Yes! Yes! Peel garlic from its skin. Put the peeled garlic into the blender. Next, add a little rock sugar. Next, pound the ingredients together. Use warm water at a temperature of about 40 okay. degrees Celsius. Then pour warm water into the blender. Stir everything well to form a solution. Don't cry anymore, I will help. Huh? Four divided cups for the pony children to drink. <laughs> like nothing had oh. happened to her yet. <laughs> put the garlic on the alcohol stove and then put the garlic onto the grill. After the roasted garlic has turned dark yellow, 
put it in a bag. Then put a warm compress on Fluttershy's belly. Fluttershy's bloated stomach was relieved and returned to its normal state. The ponies have all recovered and are very happy. Pony babies are so adorable. Wooly took care of the babies very thoughtfully and considerately like a mother. If you liked the episode, please like and comment. Wow Applejack is harvesting apples. <laughs> Looks so professional. Oh. After a while, little Amanda came over and stared at the apple crate and smiled like she was something. Pinkie Pie and Applejack went to the apple orchard when they couldn't see the box of apples, so they panicked. Bye. <laughs> Hurry up and chase after the thief Amanda. Oh! Amanda has a whole juice production line. The girl poured all three boxes of apples into the machine and waited for the results. What a fine production line, soon we have bottles of pure apple juice. At this rate, you will earn a lot of money. Applejack is very upset when his apples are stolen by others to sell. Mm. Uh -huh. huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, yes. Huh? Oh. Something needs to be done to make Amanda realize her mistake. We'll now hack into the computer software and remove the logo of Amanda and replace it with Applejack's face. Wow! Pinkie Pie is so professional! Finished logo editing. The juice bottles have been changed to the correct brand of the owner. Thieves must be punished. Next time, wait for it, Amanda. The episode was interesting and gave us a good lesson. When we want to do any kind of business, we need to be clear about the brand, not to steal such a brand. If you want, you must ask for permission and buy and sell properly from the owner. Otherwise the business will not be accepted. What do you guys think about this episode? Does it have any other lesson? Oh my god! Twilight's bookstore is a mess. Therefore, business is also sluggish. There's a guest coming. Rarity felt uncomfortable seeing the pile of books scattered on the floor. Twilight goes looking for fashion books for Rarity. Due to not properly classifying books, searching is very difficult. Rarity angrily tells Twilight to clean up the bookstore. Hello. Ew. There was another guest. 
but as soon as she walked in, she felt bored and turned away without looking back. Twilight reconsidered the problem and then started cleaning up. Oh. Wow! Just using the magic in her horn, Twilight classifies the books very neatly and scientifically. There was still a lot of trash on the floor, so Twilight quickly used a vacuum cleaner to clean it up. Use a feather broom to clean spider webs on the bookshelf. Oh my god! The spider appears out of nowhere, starting twilight. Let's quickly shoot it out of the bookstore. Mop the floor to make it shiny and clean with a fragrant scent. <laughs> Finally, clearly classify the types of books so customers can easily find and buy them. Decorate with a few balloons to make it more lively. Wow. <laughs> now customers are very satisfied with Twilight's oh. bookstore. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. When the sword sword came, there was no time to stop it. <gasps> the episode shows us how to do business effectively. We need to take care of our goods. Always update product innovations. It is especially important to clean every day so that customers always feel comfortable when coming to use our... In the living room, Twilight Sparkle was watching her favorite movie. Twilight Sparkle dances to the dance on TV. Someone broke into Twilight Sparkle's house, he's threatening her. Oh my god, that's a skeebie de toilet. What was he doing here? Skeebie de toilet had fun scaring Twilight Sparkle away. Skeebie D toilet continuously trashes the living room and chews up the sofa. I hate TV. <laughs> what? The TV has transformed into TV man. <laughs> TV man scolded Skeebie D for what he did, but he didn't seem to see that he was wrong. Skibidi continuously teased TV Man, making him angry. Skibidi fought back when TV Man sprayed toilet cleaner on him. TV Man has already defeated Skibidi. TV Man is cleaning the living room, vacuuming up the dirt that Skeevy D caused. Use cleaning solution to scrub away stains. Use a mop to clean it. TV Man also cleaned the ski beauty toilet, making him cleaner. Oh, no. 
everything was clean and tidy again, which made Skeeby D angry. Haha, <laughs> ha. Skeeby D toilet was forced by TB to brush its teeth. Oh. <laughs> Skeeby D Toilet's breath is already fragrant. Oh. <laughs> what do you think about this episode? Please leave a comment below. TV Man is very brave, isn't he? He went against Skeeby D Toilet. Besides, TV Man also helped Twilight Sparkle clean up the living room, and also helped Skeeby D Toilet brush his teeth. Making his teeth. Twilight Sparkle is in a deep sleep. Oh no, the door was thrown open and the cold wind blew in. Twilight Sparkle was sleeping but was made to shiver by the cold wind. Oh my god, Twilight Sparkle has caught a cold and can't control her magical powers. Spike was caught by Twilight Sparkle's magic and uncontrollably transformed into Luffy. Twilight Sparkle wanted to turn back but unexpectedly could not control it and was turned into Chopper. Chopper saw that Twilight Sparkle's illness was getting worse, so he treated Twilight Sparkle first. Ah, Twilight Sparkle has a high fever. First, use ice to reduce the fever to help Twilight Sparkle. Huh? <sighs> Twilight Sparkle, after having a fever, now begins to cough. Oh my gosh! The fever still didn't go away. Chopper immediately used a fever reducing patch. Chopper finds the formula in the book to cure Twilight Sparkle's illness. Add a few slices of ginger and mint leaves. Then add water. Next, turn on the button to boil everything. After boiling, start pouring into a cup of tea. Finally, add one slice of lemon. Give Twilight Sparkle Lemon Ginger Tea. Huh? The tea begins to take effect. <laughs> yeah, Twilight Sparkle's illness has been completely cured. Twilight Sparkle was able to use her normal magic again and turn Chopper back into Spike. Because she forgot to close the window, Twilight Sparkle was exposed to a draft, causing her body to catch a severe cold. I was impressed by the sneezing part that caused Spike to turn into Luffy and then Chopper. Very lovely and funny. Everyone, when sleeping, remember to pay attention to whether the door is properly installed or whether the air conditioner should be at the appropriate temperature. Pinkie Pie was walking on the street, she saw a soft drink and lying indiscriminately picked it up and threw it in the trash. Rarity didn't notice so she stepped on a banana peel, she tried to keep her balance so she wouldn't fall.
Pinkie Pie was so kind, she pulled Rarity back, helped Rarity stand. Are you okay? Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Rarity thanks Pinkie Pie for helping her out. <laughs> oh my god, a house is on fire and someone is inside. Oh my god! Pinkie Pie appeared in time, she took the hose to put out the fire. Pinkie Pie tries to open the door, to save the people inside. Blue was rescued, but he doesn't seem to be moving. Pinkie Pie has figured out a way to wake up Blue. Do you guys see how Pinkie Pie's method works? Wow. Is it effective? You. Blue thanked Pinkie Pie and raised her heart to her. <laughs> help me. At that moment, a cry for help was heard from afar. Pinkie Pie quickly rushed there. Hmm. <gasps> Green discovered that the train tracks were broken, which is really dangerous for the oncoming oh train. Gosh. What will happen here? Hmm? After knowing the situation, oh, what will Pinkie Pie do? Oh my gosh! Pinkie Pie uses spider silk to temporarily patch train tracks. Train tracks have been repaired. The train was safe, nothing happened. In this story, we build Pinkie Pie image based on Spider-Man character. Pinkie Pie is always kind to help people, brave and not afraid of difficulties. Those are good qualities that are worth learning from. Twilight Sparkle went on a picnic today. On the picnic rug, we can see Twilight Sparkle laying out a lot of food. Hello. From afar, Spike ran up to greet Twilight Sparkle. But when Spike saw a carpet full of food, he couldn't hold back his craving and jumped in, picked up the food and devoured it. Twilight Sparkle sighed helplessly, but she couldn't believe that Spike only ate one bite of everything and then threw it away. What a waste of food. A lot of food was thrown at Twilight Sparkle. Some food even fell on Twilight Sparkle's head, causing her to have to cover her head with her hands. Twilight Sparkle told Spike about how he was wasting food, but Spike ignored Twilight Sparkle's words. After returning home, Spike lay down on his bed, but he couldn't sleep, so he decided to look for food. Spike's hungry stomach growled, making him sigh. Spike smiled mischievously, he opened the refrigerator and intended to eat all the food in there. Wow. Spike picked up a piece of cake and was about to put it in his mouth but was stopped by Twilight Sparkle. Spike stubbornly refused to listen, 
So Twilight Sparkle took the cake back from him and put it back in the cupboard. But this time, Twilight Sparkle took the lock and locked the refrigerator. The next morning. Early the next morning, Spike secretly ran into the kitchen again, hoping to open the refrigerator. Spike saw the box of cookies and decided he had to eat them. The cake box fell on Spike's head, but he couldn't get it off. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Help me! Twilight Sparkle ran to help Spike, and the cake box Thank was you. finally removed. <laughs> Spike finally realized his mistake. Spike knew he had wasted food, so he apologized to Twilight Sparkle and thanked her for helping him take out the cake box. This is truly a good story. Huh? Pinkie Pie is watching mukbang videos. Pinkie Pie's eyes suddenly glowed because she felt that eating chili would be delicious. Pinkie Pie has prepared a plate of chili. Oh no, if Pinkie Pie eats the entire plate of chili at once, it will be spicy. TV woman heard Pinkie Pie's cry for help and rushed in. Oh, what happened? Pinkie Pie tells why she needs TV woman's help. Oh my god, Pinkie Pie's tongue is burning because it's so spicy. TV woman uses a magnifying glass to observe Pinkie Pie's mouth to easily help Pinkie Pie. Oh no! Pinkie Pie's oral cavity is terrible and needs to be treated promptly. Treat stains first. What? The blisters are larger and more provocative. Unexpectedly, the blisters dodged very skillfully and made the TV woman feel very angry. You, still can't control it. Other measures must be used. Haha, ha, finally got it under control. Ultimately, the blisters are eliminated. TV woman applies medicine to eliminate canker sores. Next is to treat the blisters. Heat stains and blisters have been completely eliminated. Thank you. TV woman advised Pinkie Pie not to eat too many chili peppers at once. <laughs> Pinkie Pie ate too spicy chili and got a mouth ulcer. Has anyone ever had that happen? I don't dare try. Anyone who has tried it, please comment.